congratulations to myself! Happy 15th anniversary to myself! This year is not 15 actually, it's 16 but because we haven't hit the month of me moving to Singapore so I'll count it as 15 still because 15 sounds better than 16. So in this video, I will actually talk about why I chose Singapore, why did I move, how was it adapting and whether I regret the decision. Right, so I have my laptop here so that I can refer to and not ramble on for too long. First things first, I would like to share with you a little bit about my background. I am from Indonesia. I've been in Singapore since 2005. I was 12. So the first question is, why Singapore? To me, Singapore is like a second home. So my hometown is actually really close to Singapore. It's about one and a half hour ferry ride. I'm actually from Tanjung Pinang. If you guys don't know where Tanjung Pinang is, geography lesson time. So over here, uh, this is Singapore and over here is Bintan and that is where Tanjung Pinang is. So we take a ferry from the ferry port here and down all the way to Tanjung Pinang right here. Alright, thank you for taking my geography class. Since I was young, whenever I have a school holiday, my parents will always, like always, travel to Singapore. And I do have some relatives in Singapore as well. So in a way, I was customized. Singapore is a really, really safe country. I think that was one of the reasons why my parents actually allowed me to move. I memorized the MRT train lines. Basically, everything is is really like a second nature to me. And next is, why did I move? Well, where to start? <laughs> I have a few reasons uh, leading up to the why, but I think the main reason was that ever since I was young, I was fascinated with English. Uh, I loved, loved English. So I wanted to move to an English speaking country so that I could, you know, speak English every single day because I was in Indonesia, I can't practice my English, I could only practice in my tuition center and that was not enough for me. I wanted a, a, a whole um, experience, I guess, of staying in an English speaking country. Uh, so actually my dream country to move to was either US or UK but obviously I was too young. The second reason is because I wanted to wear cute school uniforms. Yeah. Since I was young I was an avid reader of uh, manga comics. In Japan middle and high school students wear like these really cute uniforms. We don't get that in Indonesia, at least where I live, because most of the school that runs in my hometown was like a government school. In primary school, you'll wear a white top with a red bottom. When you're in middle school, you wear the same white top, but dark blue, like navy-ish bottom. And when you go to high school, you wear a white top and a grey bottom and that was it. So it's the same throughout the nation with the exclusion of private schools of course. But at that point of time, private schools were rare in my hometown because my hometown was really small. So most of the schools there are government schools and I really 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 wanted to wear cute in school uniforms. Because hey, you know, you only go to school once. And then I realized that Singapore schools have their own unique uniform. That enticed me to go to Singapore. But ironically, when I moved to Singapore, my uniform was white and navy blue. Yeah, the universe really works in uh, mysterious ways. The factor of 
why I moved to Singapore was because I was bullied back in middle school. The bullying was mainly verbal. It did not escalate to physical bullying, thank God. And I remember just crying every single day after coming home from school. I just couldn't take it anymore, you know. That was the very first time I experienced bullying in my life. Uh, and I didn't know what to do with it. So my close friends were telling me to, you know, just leave it be, forget it. But I couldn't. I just reached a point where I told myself that enough is enough. I am not going to take this shit anymore. I would like to move. I could have moved to a different school, but because my hometown was really small, I would still run into them and I know that they would know other friends as well from different schools. So I just really want to get out of their life, basically. So yeah, that was like the pushing factor. Bullying's not cool, guys. And I know a lot of people say that, you know, when you were young, you were foolish, you were reckless. But no matter what excuses people come up with, that doesn't mean that we should tolerate bullying. Don't be a bully, guys. You're a total asshole when you do that. Then, I moved to Singapore. Yay! Yeah! In 2005. Adapting actually wasn't that hard mainly because you know as i said earlier on i've always been visiting countless of times and yes i was privileged to be able to move to singapore when i said i want to so yes i was very privileged i didn't have any trouble at all communicating with singlish because singlish language structure was somewhat familiar to what i have been speaking back in Tanjung Pinang except that of course it was not Singlish it was like a, a mixture of Indonesian, Teochew, Mandarin and not very much English it just kind of comes naturally <laughs> to me so adapting really wasn't hard um, but the hardest part of adapting was the fact that I had to live on my own away from my family. I think that was that was truly really the hardest part. I have to start doing everything else on my own. So when I first came to Singapore, I was staying in my relative's house and as I entered uh, secondary school, I moved out, rented a room that was in early 2006. So I was staying with this grandpa with an Indonesian helper. I guess it wasn't that bad. I mean, technically I wasn't living alone. I remember get up early on my own, going to school on my own, leave school on my own. I have to manage my life <laughs> on my own and money. One day after I started school, I remembered at night just crying while doing my homework because it was really that lonely. But yeah, after you got used to that loneliness, you actually get addicted to it. So I learned how to be independent at a really, really young age. And I guess that is one of the advantage that I get from this. Last but not least, do I regret my decision of moving to Singapore? Absolutely not. It is actually one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life. I've created many memories here. I've learned so much about living on my own. I learned to be resourceful and I'm really, really thankful for the past 15 years that I have spent in Singapore. Okay, so uh, if you've watched up till here, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.